Hello and welcome to this um, last and third video on the concept of um, higher purchase, in which case I dedicate this uh, to the concept of um, obtaining the rate of interest, the rate of compound interest in questions that have to do with higher purchase. And so let's, let's turn to the example that we have in, in, in the lesson. We told that uh, a businessman offers a photocopying machine for either down payment of 10 or 5,000 and 15 monthly installments of 1,050 each, or another plan of down payment of 7,500 and 10 monthly installments of 1,250 each. Again, the cash price of the machine is uh, 15, is 18,000. So, so which of the two plans has a higher rate of interest? And that's what you're going to look at in the, in the question as we progress. So, well, I need to explain that um, this businessman is offering the machine using two plans. Either a buyer can pay 5,000 and 15 monthly installments of 1050 each, or a buyer can choose 7,500 and 10 monthly installments of 1250 each. And the cash price is cash price is 18,000. So as we progress to get the rate of interest that is higher than the other, we, we need to do the following. One, in our first case, we need to identify the principle. We say the principle is a borrowed money. And normally is a difference between the cash price and the deposit so in the first case if the person is making a down payment or a deposit of five five thousand cash price is eighteen thousand it means that person is borrowing thirteen thousand should have paid eighteen thousand and it goes with the photocopy machine but this person just bought uh, paid five thousand that means he borrowed the rest thirteen thousand again the amount the person buys uh, sorry pays that the buyer pays is the rest that is fifteen times 1050 which is a total of uh, 15,750 so this person borrows 13,000 but pays 15,750 the question is what's the rate of interest we progress as follows we say this is the previous lesson this is going to be our a sorry 13,000 is going to be our principal p and 15,750 is going to be our a r is what we're looking for and 15 is the um, is, um, is the number of compounding times so the first thing is we divide both sides by 13,000, so that you get 15,750 divided by 13,000 is equals to 1 plus R all of 100 raised to the power 15. Again, we take logarithms of both sides, so we have a logarithm of fraction before the um, the equal sign, and then we have a logarithm of everything after the equal sign, that is log of 1 plus R all of 100 uh, raised to the power 15. Again, we also told that, um, sorry, we, we bring the 15 before the logarithm there, so that we have everything before the equal sign as it was but now we have 15 logarithm of 1 plus r over 100 so what do you do divide both sides by 15 you get this sort of a thing please understand that 15 is dividing the logarithm of the fraction 15 750 divided by 13,000. so at this point the student should now introduce the calculator and this is what you do type on your calculator 15 750 divide that by 13,000. you get an answer on your screen then you look for the logarithm of answer on your screen. You get another um, long decimal. And that answer there, that answer there, you divide by 15 and you get, get, you're going to get this figure here. Allow me to mention that there are three dots that sort have of included here because there are many decimals after the eight. To improve accuracy, we should use the figures that appear on the screen of the calculator and that's what I've done there. Now, as we move on, we understand that 1 plus r all over 100 should be the antilog of the figure that is on your screen of your calculator. So the antilog of that gives us 1 plus r over 100, which is um, 1.01287. Again, the other decimals after the 7. So the r all over 100 will be um, this figure here minus this one. And so we get the value to be r over 100 is 0 0.01287. Again, the other decimals after that. But maybe at this point they're not very necessary because uh, we're not going to have a lot of error if we, if we round off actually. Now, what's the value of um, our R? It's going to be this figure here, multiply by 100 to move uh, to get R remaining on uh, before the equal sign, but again multiply by 12 to get the rate in a year. And therefore the rate of interest will be 0 0.01287 times 100 times 12, which is going to be 15.45% per annum. Therefore, if someone chooses to pay for the machine using the first case, paying 5,000 down payment and 15 monthly installments of 1050 each, 
that person will end up paying um, um, a compound interest of 15.45% per annum. And that is the first case. What about the second case? In the second case, the person, of course, will have a principal of um, 18,000 minus 750. Remember, that's the, de the deposit for the second case, 750. And therefore, the borrowed money is this time around 10,500, not 13,000. Again, the amount the buyer actually pays, which is our A, should be the, um, the, the, 10, 000, the 10 times 1250, 10 times 1250, 10 monthly installments, each being 1250, which is a total of 12,500 shillings. The person borrows 10,500 but pays a total of 12,500. So, what's the value of R? Put the values in the formula as I've said in the previous case 1250, 12,500 becomes our amount, 10,500 is our principal, and N is, is, is our, um, so the 10 is our N. So, again, please, I've, as I've explained in this case, follow the procedure through until you get the value of R. As I explained, you can always load the video so that you, you follow properly. And if you do it properly, you're going to find that the value of R is going to be 21.11% per annum. So the question was, which of the two plants has a higher rate of interest? Obviously, it is 21.11. And therefore, we can conclude that the second case, have in, the second case has a higher interest um, than the, the first case. And that answers our question. Check out for more videos that come up after this. We're going to have uh, videos about uh, income tax, which again are going to be tackled in a comprehensive manner as, as I've tried to do with her purchase. Please like, share, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Thank you.